Hey guys, this is Gandork the Sick <laughs> doing your top 10 FOC comics for this weekend's pre order. Happy Halloween. Someone's winning from last week, this special giveaway. And uh, we got some good comics to talk about, so let's go. Happy Halloween, sickos. This is your top 10 FOC pre order comics this weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. Um, <clears throat> there's some really good stuff this week, and I'll try to break it down. These are my favorites, so stay tuned. I do have the 1 in 50 I promised to give away from last week's super sick FOC show. This is the only giveaway during the FOC top 10s I've ever done. Watch my top 10 new comics to mine in a couple days. That's the main giveaway video. So... <clears throat> Let's get right to it. I'm going to do some cover buys first, and then we'll talk about the top 10. We have DC Vampires number 11, the Nathan Zerdy cover. Detective Comics 1066, the cover C Kyle Hotz 90s cover month variant. It looks like it's Bat Bane breaking Batman's back. New book coming out, just to shout out Wildstorm 30th Anniversary Special. Sozo cover. There are other covers too. Just wanted to point this one out. Uh, well, well, yeah, the Middleton cover and the J. Scott Campbell cover as well. Uh, Daredevil number six, Kendrick Lim demonized variant. This is the cover of the week. 100% sick. Fantastic Four number two, the Alex Ross cover. The Momo cover. Immortal X Men number nine, the Momo cover. Tiger Division number two, the Yoon Demonized variant. Something's going on with the demons. Something's happening. X Men Red number nine, the Myers Demonized variant. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 102, cover B by Jenny Frizen. Spawn Scorch number 12, cover B by Giordano. Uh, Frank Frazetta's Dawn Attack number one, new book, cover A. And the cover B Frazetta. Okay? So I'm going to talk about a couple new number ones and then we'll get to the top 10. I hope you watch the whole thing. I hope you subscribe and comment and like. I really appreciate when you watch the entire video. Thank you. Frank Miller's Ronin book two, number one. So Frank Miller's publishing books now. This book's interesting. Ancient Enemies, number one. New book. Uh, Blue Beetle Graduation Day, if you're interested, number one. It does say there's a new villain, so key. And a new fadeaway man, too. Let's see what else. Okay, a couple reads you should check out. Vanish, number three. Good read. Detective Comics, 1066. 1066, yeah. Uh, good read. It says, Young Orgum Air Azrin meets Bruce Wayne for the first time. And Bruce sees potential in the boy. Possible new Robin again. Um, all right, let's get right to it. Now, these can go in any way you want. That's what she said. But these are my favorite 10. Um, the first... We'll do number 10. It could be in a better order than this, maybe, on this. Punchline Gotham Game number 2. Shadow and Ace Chemicals. Punchline's construction of a Royal Flush Gang Court draws the attention of Gotham City's thriving Yakuza faction and Batman. All things come to a head at Ace Chemicals. Will Batman successfully stop Punchline and record, or will the factory bring him another devastating failure? I'm still on the lookout for this new character that she's creating in her basement or whatever. I just have a good feeling I could be 100% wrong. We'll see. Number nine, I'm putting two books. Deathstroke, number 15, and Harley, 24. In Deathstroke, 15, it says Origin of Deathstroke. So there's more to that. And we saw that last character... Oh, I forgot his name. Muzzle in that last book. And in, in Harley 24, it says her killer's revealed. The person that killed her. Um, plus, she's kind of turning evil. So that's something you might want to look into. Um, I think... Wait, you got the numbers wrong here? Let me see. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and throw in Marauders as well. Number nine. It says first appearance of Grove pure key okay first appearance guys all right let's go number eight dan slot spider-man number three it says the first issue was shocking 
Think again because this issue is going to shake you to your core. Night Spiders in this one as well. All right. Number seven, The Legacy of Th Thanos. So Donny Cates is no longer writing this. Okay. So I'm just saying if you're reading and this whole thing with Thanos, 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 it's time to get on this. This is part one. Number six is Punisher number eight. Frank Castle wants to end his war once and for all, but the God of War has other ideas. And now Ares is coming for the Punisher with an army of heavily named, uh, armed apostles at his back, looking to turn Frank back into his old self by murdering his family all over again. That's good stuff, guys. As well as, in number five, Daredevil number six. It says, the most shocking issue. So get ready for that. All right, here we go. Top four. Ghost Rider number nine. I'm enjoying that new Ghost Rider character, Exhaust. But it also says the dark forces he manifests. So there might be new appearances or something interesting. Number three. Now this is pure speculation, guys, but I think it might be good. Dark Crisis, the Dark Army number one. Let me read it to you. As Pariah's Dark Army continues its march around the globe, Damian Wayne thinks he's got an answer as to why Pariah is able to control the most dangerous cosmic villains of the multiverse. And he's taking Red Canary... And Dr. Light with him. I haven't seen for first full appearance of Red Canary yet. I'm not saying it will come out in the next couple weeks. But it is definitely saying she will be in this book. So it's very possible. Could be her first full appearance. I could be wrong. But it could be a good story too. So that's why it's on the list. Alright guys. Number two and number one in any order you like. Miles Morales Spider-Man number one. Let's see. There are some punches you don't get up from, and a new villain, key, isn't pulling a single one. Miles is reaching his breaking point, and when this new foe is finished, Spider-Man's world will be changed forever. If it's an... Okay, might be a cameo, right? Or it could be a first full. But this is Miles Morales' Spider-Man number one. This is the beginning. It's a new run, again. And if this is the new foe that's really badass... You might see him for a while. Could be a big key. And, I mean, you could put it either way. I'll do the giveaway in a second. Happy halloween -y. Dark Web number one is my number one this week. Dusk, the two most famous clones ever, are back to what's theirs. Ben Riley to, to take what's, what's theirs, sorry. Ben Riley and Madeline Pryor have had enough and are reigniting the Inferno. Spider-Man and the X-Men are not ready for what's coming. That's what she said. And what role does Venom in have in all in all this? Could it be Dylan Venom, or it could be actually Dylan's no or Codex? I don't know. The sun is settling or setting. Dusk is approaching, and it's gonna be a long night. There's a lot of good number ones this week. There's some keys, some great covers. Some of these might change. Let's do the giveaway real quick that I promised you guys. Here you go. Someone is winning this one in fifty Spider-Man number one. The winner is. Steve Evil CX 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 for Halloween. Message me on Instagram or Facebook and uh, or through my store, economicsandcomics.com. Say this is Steve Evil CX CX CX. And I will send you this one in 50. Congratulations, you guys. I love you so much. All this stuff will be available at economicsandcomics.com right now. Uh, Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, DC is done. And Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern, everything else. Diamond, Marvel, and all that. So if you want to get your pre-orders in with me, you can or anywhere else. If you come over here, uh, you can use code ECON at checkout and get 6% off. And if you're a new customer, you can click the thingy on the bottom. And it'll give you a one-time 10 percenter. Heck yeah. Happy halloween -y. I hope you guys have fun and uh, eat lots of treats and goodies. I'm trying to make this an exact 10-minute video. So watch if you can um and that uh, just be a little bit short of 10 minutes thanks so much for watching guys and stay sick <laughs> like gandalf the sick later